All right, hello everyone. So in today's video, we are going to review the iPhone 7 on the RC of iOS 14.5. And should you update your iPhone 7 to this phone way or not? Let's find out in today's video. My name is Jay and you are watching Tech Hype. All right, so first of all, is that the battery life of iPhone 7 on this phone will? Oh man, come on, trust me. This device, if, uh, if I'll say that I managed to use this device continuously for over six hours, on the RC of iOS 14.5. Would you believe me? Probably not because we all know the battery drain issue of iPhone 7. It was really bad, right? But it looks like things have been changed and uh, the RC of iOS 14.5, it is uh, one of the most stable and the best for the iPhone 7 in terms of battery life. Yeah, this is a big statement that I'm saying right now. And for me, I have been using the RC on this device since it came out and my experience on the iPhone 7 it is been trust me it is the, been the best one of the best for sure the last update that was this good on this device but it was the iOS 12.2 I guess and that update was really good on this device and after that this update is one of the most stable and one of the best update on the iPhone 7 well I'm not saying that I do not really have any battery drain issue after installing this update yeah and another thing is that I dropped 1% of battery health after installing this update I am at 99% of battery health right now but anyways the battery standby that i'm getting right now is just amazing i mean if i'll uh, see here i don't really use cellular by the way so i really rarely put my sim on this device because this is not my primary device but still i do put my sim in once or twice a week but it's not like 24 7 my sim is in this device so that plays a major role too but my usage early i was getting around four hours of usage whereas now six hours and uh, to be honest i got around six hours 10 minutes of usage until it died today i charged the device up to 100 percent and uh, till now if i'll see uh, using this device for three hours 20 minutes right now it's at 41 percentage and uh, uh, I mean come on it is a really great percentage for iPhone 7 in my opinion because I have been using this device for a while and uh, sharing my review and thoughts on my channel but the thing is that iPhone 7 never really formed this good in terms of battery life at least for me on any firmware whereas right now on the RC of iOS 14.5 it the things looks like it is changing and I can't wait for the official version it is RC and uh, the build number of RC will be the same as the public one so the build number of this firmware is 18E199 14.5 you can see it 18E199 this is the build number and talking about the modern firmware the modern firmware is 5.0 2.5.02.04 and it is actually pretty dope you know and all in all do i recommend people installing this update on their device so i would say go ahead and install this update on your device if you're already on beta but if you're not for a consumer who is thinking about updating their iPhone 7, I use 14.5 once it comes out, which will be next week. And, uh, and actually, it's pretty damn good update for the iPhone 7. I really love it. That's pretty much it for today's video. I don't really have a lot of things to talk about. Obviously, I will be making a full review. This is a review but i will be doing a full review which will be once apple release the official version so basically this is the official version uh, so i will be testing a lot of things on this i will be doing some gaming too on this device you guys don't have to miss it once next week apple drops the update i will be sharing my thoughts after using this update for about a week that's it for today's video if this video was helpful for you all consider dropping a like because i do tend to make more videos like this and subscribe would be appreciated peace out and i'll meet you all in the very next episode have a great day